Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, my name is Michael Fox, and today I'm talking about Disney and the crazy demands that they are asking of movie theaters uh, to show Star Wars The Last Jedi. So as all of you know, Disney is very much God in the eyes of the nerd. Uh, they literally own just about everything we love, not to mention just all of Disney. I like they own Marvel. Uh, in a lot of cases, they own the English distribution rights to a lot of the anime Miyazaki films, and of course, Star Wars. We found out Disney had acquired. Star Wars from Lucasfilms, or, or acquired Lucasfilms, um, and essentially owned Star Wars. I was ecstatic. I was like, I know they're going to make the next, the other movies. I know they're going to make episodes 7, 8, 9, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. And it has been. Those movies have been great, at least in my opinion. I have absolutely loved. I've loved them. Like, uh, you know, I loved The Force Awakens. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed Rogue One as well. Also absolutely fantastic in my opinion, and I know I'm going to enjoy The Last Jedi when it releases on December 15th of this year. We're like less than just a few weeks away now. What this video is about, and I think it's kind of scary because I think it's going to cost us moviegoers having to start paying more money to go see our favorite movies. Disney is in a very powerful spot, and they know it. They own a lot of really cool stuff, as I already just said. They have, they are very high up on the totem pole. They have the high ground. <laughs> Basically, they have the high ground. And there's nothing we can do about it because we let them have all this cool stuff. According to the Wall Street Journal, the theaters that want to show Star Wars The Last Jedi have to agree to some pretty strict terms which are seem relatively unusual for the industry. Uh, and Disney is being pretty hardcore with some of these rules. A movie studio is going to get... Um, a percentage of s ticket sales, like right. So when you when you go up to the movie and you pay your seven to twelve dollars, whatever, whatever you might have to pay, um, that movie studio is going to get a certain cut of that, um, which makes sense. But a lot of these websites are saying generally a movie studio, depending on the popularity of the film, in some cases, generally ask for like forty to about fifty five percent of ticket sales. So. Like, you go pay 12 bucks to go see the new Thor movie, and Disney's gonna take about 55% of that, probably. Uh, okay, whatever. And then also, uh, generally, like, new movies get, like, two weeks in the biggest screen uh, of, the, of the movie theater. So the movie theater's biggest theater, their biggest screen that they have, they reserve that for, like, two, two weeks or so, uh... For a new release movie like like Star Wars. However, Disney is insisting on 65% of ticket sales. And that's obviously, I know you guys can do basic math, that's 10% more generally than uh, what movie theaters generally ask for. So it's like eh, 10%, that's not like that's a lot actually when you think about it, because like 10% of billions of dollars, which is what Star Wars, you know, Star Wars is going to make. Uh, that's a lot of money. 10% is a, a lot of that. The uh, Wall Street Journal is calling this um, a new benchmark. So this is something that other movie theater, or other movie studios could be following in Disney's footsteps. And in my opinion, I feel like that means that's going to mean higher ticket prices for us. I think movies probably, prices to go see a movie are going to go up. They're already, like, ridiculously overpriced. Anyway, because I remember as a, as a kid, and this was, you know, about ten years ago or so now, like, I remember being able to go see a movie for, like, like five, six bucks. And now, now if I want to, like, take my family to go see a movie, it's, like, almost, it's close to, like, a sixty, seventy dollar, like, trip to the movie theaters, which sucks. On top of the the extra 10% in ticket sales that they're asking for, Disney is also requiring, not asking, they are requiring movie studios to host The Last Jedi in their biggest movie theater, on their biggest screen, for four weeks. Again, the typical like, is around two, two to three or so. 
So they're asking for an extra week in the biggest and most brightest of movie theater. All of this is going to be a bigger deal for those smaller movie theaters that, you know, if you live in a small town in rural America somewhere and you have maybe one theater in your town, maybe they only have two or three screens or something and only one of them is the big screen, like, these little guys are going to have to agree to that too and I think that's what's going to hurt. That's going to hurt them a lot. So, like, some people may not even get to see Star Wars because of that and that'll be a big bummer, but that's not all they want. for this? Nobody does this. This was not part of the deal. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Look, maybe we just won't even show your movie. Maybe we won't even show Star Wars. Maybe that, that's it. We're just not going to show it. theater's not gonna show Star Wars. Like, you gotta be out of your mind to not show Star Wars. Come on. But I don't know. So what do you guys, what do you guys think, uh, on this? Like, obviously Star Wars is pretty damn big. Like, everybody knows that. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you think Disney's in the right? I mean, or do you think they're doing it just because they can? I feel like they're doing it just because they can, because, hey, it's Star Wars, so give us more money for Star Wars. Want to Star Wars? Star Wars? Um, I think it's kind of shitty. Personally, I think they they don't necessarily need to do that, and I, I am worried that if if 65% of ticket sales becomes the norm, I think you will start to see some movie prices go up. I'm definitely no, like... I don't work in the movie theater industry. I, like, I don't. This is just a normal guy making some guesses. I'm in by no means like in the business anywhere. I'm in the business of just making stupid YouTube videos. So, um, what do I know? I don't. But it's it's what I feel would probably happen, and I think it's probably a relatively good judgment to be honest. Um, overall, I'm still excited for Star Wars. I'm gonna be seeing it. Uh, hopefully when it comes out on December 15th. Um, but let me know what you guys think below. Do you think Disney... Do you think it's fine? Do you not care? Uh, do you think ticket sales will go up? think I'm an idiot? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling at this point. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button when I upload a new stuff. So I try to upload at least three times a week. And until the next video, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> I always forget which one to use. <laughs>